everything until the day of judgment. It wrote and wrote. It wrote that Adam would be created and fashioned by the hand of God. That he would inhabit paradise and be expelled. It wrote that Noah would build a ship that would deliver him and a few of those who believed in him from a flood that would drown the height of mountains. It wrote of a mother in fear. Yet with unbelievable courage, placing her baby in a basket in the river and that baby going under the watchful eye of his maker to save his people from unspeakable horrors. It wrote that David would be a king, have a son named Solomon, that he would be carried by the wind, make minions of the jinn, and that he would have a kingdom the likes that the pen would not write for anyone after his dominion. It wrote of a miraculous birth under a date palm tree. A baby speaking to his mother's accusers, his first words were written then. He said, I am the slave of God. He gave me the book and made me a prophet. His name was written, Jesus, the son of Mary, and that he would be marked for death. And it was everything, it was written, everything that they would say about him. A road of an orphan boy who became a shepherd, who became a merchant, who became a prophet. His name was Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He wrote the names of his enemies How wretched He wrote the names of his friends How blessed are they That their names be written by his He wrote of everyone who would come after him Merchants and tyrants And criminals and heroes And champions and knights And everyone in between He wrote of incredible feats of his ummah Tariq ibn Ziyad Entering a land that would capture its imaginations For a thousand years Salah ad-Din, a stone's throw away from Jerusalem. Imam Ahmed emerging from prison, the most famous man in the world. It wrote of incredible lows. It wrote of incredible lows, the accusation of Aisha, the killing of Umar ibn al-Khattab, the sacking of Baghdad. Twelve million dreams being shackled as they traverse over the Atlantic where they would be decreed to die, but some dreams don't die. They transform into songs that are carried on the breaths of slaves who sing songs of kings from one generation to the next until freedom rings. It wrote of colonization and the world that would come to be. It wrote of devastating loss and blinding greed. It wrote of the heaviest pain and the lightest love. It wrote of generosity and kindness, faith and purity. It wrote the names of my parents, who they would be and what they would be and how they would meet and all of their seeds and it wrote my name and it did the same for me and I wasn't written to the time of incredible heights nor incredible lows but I was written into now so I neither fear days of future loss nor long for days of past glory for I recognize that all that is written shall come to pass instead my job is to be patient upon harm and grateful upon blessings and that I be in one state or the other until my story is through because the pen has been lifted and the ink has dried.